here we are with Mushoko Tensei episode 2. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Funeral. Are this maybe his parents that died? <coughs> or grandma, grandpa? <coughs> and he wasn't there. Well, okay. He had better stuff to do. More important business. And it seems like they didn't like it? I guess it makes sense, right? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> That's interesting. I guess this is family, right? Or part of the family. And the first thing he wants to do is go to them and punch them <laughs> when they come in. I mean, I get why, right? If it was a parents or a grandma or whatever, and he's not showing up, yeah, that because he is like bapping, then yeah, that's like not cool. <clears throat> oh, and this what is what happened, Trakun, and he sucks at talking. <laughs> He can just pulverize them and throw them out as a little stone shit. Oh my god. We all know why. <clears throat> oh, Roxy. <laughs> Roxy is having a good time here. Oh, really? Mm hmm. <laughs> He's liking that. <clears throat> so, six months already. Okay, intermediate magic. <laughs> of course. As if she would do it with him, right? Trying to get a peek. <clears throat> what? Really? No. Enlighten me. Mm hmm Oh my god. <laughs> mm hmm <clears throat> Emerald green hair and a gemstone on the head. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> of course he does. <laughs> wow. I guess so, right? Different times. Trying to sneak another peek? <laughs> another four, uh, six months. <laughs> I guess he got pretty good. Really? <clears throat> I guess that's not something he's up to. Yeah. Good explain explanation how it works. Rain? Hell yeah. <coughs> what the fuck? Is he seeing shit? He must be seeing shit, right? Yeah. He's seeing shit. No way do they have smartphones or oh, handies. Okay. <laughs> so this might be something where he would want to go if he gets better, right? <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Did she use too much mana already for that spell? Interesting. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Damn. <clears throat> nice party trick, swallowing his own sword. Oh, a real sword. A bit heavy, I guess. <laughs> New magic book. <laughs> oh, a wand. Man, how nice he can be. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think he doesn't want that right now. He wants to keep a little bit more. <clears throat> Holy fucking shit! No wonder that he was like that. Oh, <clears throat> that's why last episode he was feeling he clinged so hard to his on his dad. When they said he would, they would train in the garden because he doesn't leave, he doesn't leave his house. Oh yeah, okay, now I get it. I didn't thought that much that it would go that far that he wouldn't even go out into the garden in this world here. So yeah, because of his past, he doesn't like to go outside. And that sucks.
Yeah, he thinks everything is about him. That he would be the point of attention and everyone would bully him. But that's not the case anymore. Nah. What are they going to do now? Use your biggest spell. Okay, big spell. If you can do the same, then I have nothing to teach you anymore. I don't have the the order in in mind how high that is over in intermediate. I think quite a bit higher, right? It's not the next stage, it's like quite a bit higher, right? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> what? She fried the horse. You? Yeah. Oh my god. Holy shit. But don't hit the horse. <clears throat> Do they have to check the order later to see how much higher that is over intermediate? Because that's a big spell. Because it makes me wonder how much bigger it can get. I guess his is bigger, I guess. I would assume from her reaction that she's like, wow. Please don't leave. Sacred level water mage. I think if I remember correctly, sacred was further up, right? It's not like halfway, it's like further up. I think it's not the highest, right? Right? Just stay. I guess we will see her again, right?
No head pad. Man, this makes me already sad. <laughs> oh, damn it, dude. And this is only the second episode. For some reason, this makes me very sad. Damn, this is so good. Wow. <laughs> My God. Oh, oh, the outro. This is outro, right? Did we have this the last episode? We didn't have an intro, which I think is interesting. Did we have this? I can't remember. It's been like two days or so since episode one. I think this is something different, right? So I guess this is the outro was maybe the last episode's the intro? Or did we have this? Dude, I can't remember. <laughs> We just listen to it. Well, I listen to it <laughs> since there's no audio. Oh, Arc System is part of this somehow, somewhat, in some regard. Oh yeah, a friend. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah. <clears throat> very <clears throat> very good episode man i it's just the second episode and i already love it so much <clears throat> like the moment when roxy went away man it made me quite emotional <laughs> um which is i i think very interesting because i mean we just met her last episode a little bit and now this episode and I'm already feeling sad that she's leaving. I don't know why. There's something about it that I... It makes me emotional about it. And oh yeah, uh, let me let me check. Let me check uh, what the tier was of a magic. Magic? Um... <coughs> it is beginner, intermediate, advanced. Sacred Magic, King, Imperial Magic, and Divine Magic. So it's basically in the middle. Three in front and three behind it. And the ranks are Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, Saint, King, Emperor, and God. So that whole magic she used was basically in the middle of what is possible. So how crazy will be Divine Magic? Holy shit, dude. Do you destroy the whole planet with it? I mean, this was already a big area that it that was covered, right? <clears throat> and if we see, I mean, 
it is beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then uh, <clears throat> sacred. So intermediate is in the middle of that, right? With intermediate magic, he already could destroy his whole wall in his house and shoot a water ball like hundreds of m meters away. And then you get two tiers higher and you have already like such a big range that it covers like everything around you basically and I don't know how far maybe if also like a few hundred meters like it's that big of a difference between intermediate and then advanced and then sacred so how high will be the difference if you go three tiers higher to divine magic that must be some earth ending shit <laughs> I guess it's not earth ending, right? It's not, it destroys the whole planet because otherwise whoever would use it would destroy the planet, right? But I know, but <clears throat> how crazy must that should be if there is such a big difference between intermediate and the sacred? I mean, maybe the differences are maybe bigger on the lower tiers to the next tier, right? So maybe from big, I mean, Maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, maybe the differences are bigger at the beginning and then the later tiers don't get that much bigger, maybe, but I would assume so, right? Definitely interested, yeah, interesting, I would, I want to see more magic, because the demonstration of this now, how big it can get, and this is just halfway through the possible tiers, makes me very interested to see where it can go how crazy it can be and what kinds of magic there is right we saw now earth he can make some sculptures and water balls and now a big rain <clears throat> storm that fried a horse so how much more is possible i guess flame magic right he had like a little flame <clears throat> earth magic water magic but i wonder if there's like i guess there could be maybe wind magic Maybe lightning magic? I think we don't know which elements there are, right? We just know so far earth, water and fire, I guess, based on the flame he had. Um, but I would assume if there's earth, then I would guess there's also wind. And I wonder if there's like more special kind of magic. I mean, we know that there's summoning magic, right? So you can summon stuff. Um, but I wonder if there's also something like curses you can cast maybe or maybe some poison stuff or maybe some weird crazy shit chains doom some dark magic light magic <clears throat> will be interesting to see what we will see right in the future at some point and so yeah otherwise we saw a bit of backstory, right? I guess his parents died, I would assume. And he didn't show up. And then his, the rest of his family was very pissed about it that he didn't show up and stormed his house and like I said, or his room. And like I said, it, I think it was very interesting that they come in and the first reaction of this is that he storms at them and wants to punch them. Not even talking, nothing. They didn't do anything, they just came in. And he just runs at them and wants to punch them. Maybe he saw the guy with the baseball bat and was like, oh shit. <clears throat> I have to defend myself. And yeah, then they saw that he watched some porn. And he wasn't at the funeral for some porn and some wanking. So I get it that they were really pissed. And because of that, that was basically like, okay, that's the last draw. You are out. I mean, I, I, I get his perspective perspective right that he is like very isolated don't, doesn't want to leave because of all the bullying that happened because that's some crazy bullying right undressing someone in the middle of a class like binding him to the school gate in front of everyone to see naked that's some crazy shit so I can't see why he is like not going outside and all that stuff if that's something you have to endure like months or years to a breaking point and 
at some point you just can't anymore, right? That's just really fucked up. And the, f the, the, the thing is, people that do that stuff, they don't even... If, you, if, if he doesn't go to school anymore, they're not like, oh shit, maybe we went too far. That wasn't good. They, they, they think it's funny. They think it's cool, it's good, ha, huh, we did it. This fat ass is not coming back anymore. <clears throat> for them, that's like success. And even if he would kill himself, for them, no, that's success. They wouldn't feel bad about it. They wouldn't be like, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. I mean, some might, right? Like the bystander. They would be like, oh shit, I thought it was funny. I didn't thought he would kill himself. Or if he would kill himself, then some people would be like, oh shit, my actions lead to that. And then they regret it, but then it's late already, right? <clears throat> so I can't get his perspective. But I can also get the perspective from the family, right? Which are like, dude, that was the funeral of maybe your parents or grandma, grandpa, both, right? And you didn't show up, not even for that. And <clears throat> while you didn't show up for it, which already sucks. What you did instead was sitting at home and wanking off to some point during that whole process. And then yeah, you could also see like his struggle to talk. He couldn't even shout out to them and say, hey, watch out. He just stumbled over his words because he's so introverted and so... <clears throat> um, Oh, oh my god, what's the word? Oh my god, I'm spacing out right now. Um, <clears throat> um, he said it himself during this episode. Um, a traumatized, that's it. Now I remember it before I find it in the episode. But yeah, he's so traumatized by it <clears throat> that he couldn't even talk really because he, like we saw in this episode, even in this new world, being reborn and everything, going outside, seeing strangers, he thinks he's a point of attention, that they would bully him if they see him, even if that's not the case anymore because he's a different person, different times. Back in those times, there was definitely bullying in those old times, right? Um, but not to this extent, right? Not some random village people that would go and just harass a kid like that. That they don't even know, right? Um, but yeah, different times, different social life and all that stuff. But yeah, he still thought because of his real life experience that he would be the point of attention. He would get bullied if someone sees him and all that stuff. Like the kids that just run by, he, he doesn't know them, but he sees stuff that isn't there, which was that the kids stand there with smartphones and take pictures of him to make fun of him and... That's like really rough. But yeah, now Roxy helped him to get over it to realize, hey, this is a different world. These people wouldn't bully me just like that in this village. So there's nothing to be afraid of in this world going outside. <clears throat> and I mean, it really goes hand in hand with like trying to get a better life, right? Now he realizes, hey, these people outside, they don't bully me just like that. So it helps to like, I guess, to get more to the point that he's like, I can make a better life here, right? I can be, become a better person. I don't have to be afraid of anyone. And yeah, like I said in this episode, I, when he like, when he was clinging to his dad, when Roxy said that they would train outside in the garden, I didn't realize that it was his trauma from the real world that he wouldn't want to go outside. <clears throat> so yeah, it took me to this episode realizing that he doesn't want to go outside, really outside of his garden everything, that I realized, oh, that's his trauma, basically. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I think it's just like really interesting this whole setting right like i said last episode 
did we had other animes that went isekai with the person that was bullied dying? I don't think so, right? I can't remember at least the ones that I watched. I mean, we had, for example, Shield Hero, but he wasn't bullied. He was just like going into a library when he had no money and read some books instead of playing games. Um, so he was fine, like uh, reincarnated as a slime. He had a normal work life and had people that looked up to him, like his co-workers that work under him, basically. He was fine. <clears throat> I think I've never watched an anime like this to see if how others would react in those situations, right? But I think I, I think it's from the perspective like of realism, this feels very real, right? He gets traumatized from his real life and instead of being like suddenly fine in this world and be like, oh yeah, Isekai world, perfect. I'm a new person. He really still carries the weight from his previous life and wants to get a better life and make him better um, and is still like traumatized from his bad experiences. I wonder how much more we will see like that. Because now he said, oh yeah, I'm fine now. I wonder if we will get some more flashbacks with this that lead to like points of traumatization, if that's a word, in this world, right? Where he feels like, oh shit, this reminds me of the real world and now he's like a bit shocked or something. Because while it, while it would be fine if he's like, okay, yeah, going outside and everything is fine now, I'm over it. It would be, it would be kind of quick, right? Just from one experience, you're like, okay, yeah, fine, I can go outside now, my whole trauma is gone. So, I think there should be more at some point, right? I just sit here now and ex expect or assume that there will be more points like that, that is, that is not like completely fixed now after one time going out <clears throat> with Roxy and it's like, okay, no more trauma, I'm fixed and now I can become a better person. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much all. I mean, okay, we also, we have to talk about it. We also saw Roxy um, playing around a little bit while listening to his parents. I guess it makes sense, right? In those times, you have certain needs and all that stuff. And of course, um, Rudy steals her panties, her panties at the end, and the maid finds it. But yeah, I guess that's basically all we can talk about. Good episode. Showed us, showed us a bit more about what is possible with magic, right? And. Yeah, obviously he is not that good with like combat, right? With swords and stuff because he's too young. You need a developed body and muscles and all that stuff to become strong. It's not like magic that is like basically about your mind and like <clears throat> the inner parts of your body, right? That you can, I mean, it's te no, technically it's also limited, but for him he can like improve. I don't know if that's, I mean, we, I think at this point, we don't know if that's normal if everyone can improve like he can, right? But at least he can, and so obviously he can get better at it because it's not about your stamina and your st body strength. It's just about like improving slowly something that is inside you that you can easily improve in his case with the magic. And then it's basically just, I guess, talent in his case, right? That he can just cast magic like that. But it doesn't require like you being of a certain age to get and do physical training in order to become stronger, right? I mean, I guess he does physical training because he has to use magic the whole time to get more magic and stuff, right? But I mean, he, he has to grow, right? And that happens over time, slowly, and that's not something that he can just train to become super strong in that regard. So, yeah, we will see. I guess, I guess he will mainly become a mage, right? Because... For the sword stuff, he needs more strength and age to be bigger and all that stuff, I guess. So I assume he will be mainly mage-focused from what we will see, I guess. Unless he becomes suddenly way older in the time skip or something. But yeah, I guess that's the episode. I loved it so far. 
I already miss Roxy. And I can't wait for the next episode. So yeah, if you like what you saw, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.